Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to show you a product that I have received from Artisa and these are their 36 set of watercolors. And I've taken out the plastic but I can you know, get them out of the box here and give you an idea of what they look like. They're not the easiest thing to get out of the box, I'll tell you that. <laughs> They're in there pretty snug, which is nice. <clears throat> Boy. Really snug. There we go. No, no, still not. There we are. Okay. So, here we go. They come in a beautiful tin box. Hard. This one here is a sticker on here. If you wanted to take that off, you could, and then you would just have a nice shiny case. There is a ring on the back, so if you are going to go out into the field and paint, you can put that on your hand and you can use this outside. Um, you open up the case and we have a side on here that sits down level with your tabletop, so you can mix your paint in here. The paint will flow away from the tin this way. It comes with a Arteza card here, so you can put your paint swatches on and keep it inside the tin. It fits nicely. There's the flip down on this side. This one does sit level on the um, board, so if you are holding this in your hand when you're out in the field, the paints will stay in the little wells here and down the wells on this side, away from your centerpiece. Okay, the set itself comes with a water brush. This is different from the set that I have that has a little push ball here. The uh, tip seems to be the same, the cartridge is the same, except for this little push ball here is not there. It's just a squeeze of the plastic tubing here. It looks to be a nice big water reservoir in there though, a little bit bigger than this one. Okay, so we'll have to see how that goes. The watercolors come in a nice big tin. They are all wrapped. So let's see if we take one out. They are, I believe, half pans, but they're a little small. Smaller than, um, hmm, don't have one out. They seem a little smaller. Uh, this is the burnt ochre. We have the name on it here. It's a plastic uh, pan that it sits in. And each one of these is a paper wrapped. Nice and snug. Okay. You peel that off. It's kind of like stuck all the way around. Okay. Keep the number handy because you are going to want that because as far as I can tell it is not written on the uh, little tub at all so you will have to keep that uh, number kind of handy since it is a sticker what I think I will be doing if I don't want to write on these is I will just cut that little piece off there and I'll stick it on the bottom and that way I will know what that is and you just um, stick them back in the little tin since I know what that one is <laughs> um, what I'll do is take the camera off right now and I'll take all these little wrappers off and then we will uh, fill out the little card. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've got all the wrapping off and I have put the name on all the back of these and I left them in the same order as the chart and we're going to go ahead and put down some of these colors at least on here. To start with the uh, yellow one. I have a rag to wipe off 
um, the brush with and this is the brush that came with it like I said this is where you're going to be pushing here but don't push too hard because I already um, tested it a little bit and if you push too hard on that you're just going to get water dripping out which is fine for watercolors but I'm going to um, do the swatching like I would if I was going to color in a coloring book so I wouldn't be wetting them all down and letting them sit. Uh, what I'd do is just take the um, water brush and run it on there. And it has enough water. And then I would just be putting it on the page. So I'll put it down dark there and then just kind of bring it out and let it see what it does. And then we will rinse off the brush. and go into the next color. So the first color was lemon yellow and the next one is cadmium light yellow and we'll do the same exact thing. And the brush is going to have a little more water on it only because I had to rinse it out. So yes, that is going to be a lot brighter than the other one. And just bring it across and we'll see how that works. Rinse it out. Next color is Aurelian Yellow, it's kind of a brownish color here. It's pretty. Just let it flow. So I'm putting most of the color here and then pushing the brush down and letting the water drag it across same way I would do in a coloring book. So that's how I'm testing these out. This one is golden yellow. Then we have chrome orange. Now, I don't know if this is how other people do their um, swatching, but this is <laughs> the way I'm going to be doing it because I just want to see how they're going to work in my color book. Saffron Orange. Ooh. They are nice, vibrant colors. I think. I'll have to redo the lemon yellow because I didn't have any, as much water on there as I should have. This one is Cadmium Light Red. Then we have Scarlet Red. Oh yeah, there's a one name, and mm -hmm. a Marthen. <laughs> I'm not a real good one with the. That's really pretty though. I'll have to learn that name. And the next one is deep red. I'm going to get a little more water on that brush. There we go. Oh, I like that. I like that one a lot. Um, magenta. And the last one is violet. Okay, those are pretty. Since I'm going to go back this way, I will just uh, go across this side. I'm sorry, I wasn't showing you the colors when I was taking them up. I am not putting much pressure on these at all, so we'll start here and then work our way backwards that way. 
you will notice it does stain this brush a lot. But So just a little bit of water in there, and then I pull it out. And like I said, just pushing it down to see what color it is. This is a blue violet. This one is Oxford Blue. Ooh, that's a pretty color. We have Indigo. I like that too. Halo Blue. Persian blue, deep ocean blue, cerulean blue. That's pretty. Turquoise. And we're going to get into some green shades. So we have um, Persian green. Cobalt green, Ooh. <laughs> jade green, sorry my chair is squeaky today, I can't hear that too much, that's pretty, and then fern green. Get a little more green on that. Okay. We'll go down here to uh, sunburst yellow. Naples yellow. Yellow ochre, the Persian red, that's pretty, uh, rust red. Need more water on that side. Uh, burnt sienna. Okay, just move everything over so you can see it. Mahogany. Burnt Umber, Sepia Brown, Ooh. it's kind of got a green tone to it, uh, Black or Neon. Which is black. <laughs> we have spring green. They're interesting the way they put these colors together. 
spring green down here. There's got to be a reason. I just don't know it. And olive green. Oh, uh, yes, I love that color. <laughs> okay. And while we'll have the brush here, we're going to go back up here to the, um, was it lemon yellow? Because I didn't get it as wet as everybody else. And we'll just add a little more in there and see what it does. There we go. Okay. Cap that. As you can tell, I did not use very much. It's just a light tap on each one of those to bring out the color. I didn't do any mixing. I just want to see what the colors themselves look like. And this is it. Bring it up a little closer so you can see. So you have the dark and then it bleeds out. So this is the lighter color of them. And I like the way it does that on all of them. It's really pretty. I could see using these in a um, color book just like I do with the ink tents and such. Just checking them out. <laughs> I don't know what kind of uh, paper this is. It is a water based paper, so I'm just going to let those dry. I'm going to take out one of my coloring books that I use water in. So the color Colin Thompson coloring book. We're going to leave this open. And I'm just going to lay down some color here on it. I don't know what colors I'll use, but I will find a page here. Um, I have a work in progress going. So we'll just I'll do something on um, this side of the page. Where do we have a door or a book or something? be fun to do. We have a blue sky. Somewhere around here, we've got some trees, so we'll do some green. How's that? So I'm just going to take some of the olive green here. Favorite color. <laughs> you all know that. And we're going to do these trees. See how this works. So I just put some color in. Bring it around. I don't know if the trees clean up that high. I can't see. I'm not close enough to it, but we're going to make them go up that high. Okay. And if we want to um, dab a little out, we can. That's pretty. We'll add in a little brown. Brown, brown. What kind of brown do we want to use? Use a little of this for the tree trunks. I really have to get down there closer. <laughs> How far down can I bring the book without getting out of... Okay, the nice thing about this is being watercolors is you can wipe it up, take it down, add into it, all sorts of stuff. I figured this book would be a good one for it because it takes water really well. The tree in the background there. And you can also add on top of it if you want a brighter color. We're going to let that dry. We'll go down here in color. Oh, how about this little fish tank? There's a little fish tank here and we'll throw in some of this blue I like that uh, Persian blue is really pretty, so that's four over. We'll give him some blue water. Ooh, that is bright. So we'll just add a little more water to it. Kind of bring it over. Try not to get our fish. Whatever kind of fish that is. <laughs> That's cool. I like that color. 
and add a little of um, a darkness to it too if we want throw in a little Persian blue for five <laughs> down there in the shadow add a little more and there you go just a little dark kind of a shadow blue down here And we'll see how that add up some in here into the jar too. See how those dry. And what other color should I use? We'll do a little spring green and put it up in one of these um, the flowers up here. Probably white flowers, but I'm going to make them green. Throw in a touch of the um, olive green in there. Just to see how that'll look. And we'll let those dry. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, they're all dry here, so I'm gonna just test it because the other thing I do in color books on top of like my ink tents is use a pencil for shading. So I just grabbed um, Polychromo's uh, Hilo Turquoise and I'm just gonna add a little of that in our water here. See how that does. Kind of get back a water line there. I added just a tiny bit of a, um, let's see, what was it? Chrome orange for the uh, fish, just because I wanted to just put a little color on it. <laughs> We're going to grab a little mm, orange glaze here. See what we can do to give the fish a little more color here. Mm, that's cute. Don't exactly know what this part is, so I'm going to just leave it for now. The um, watercolor did really good on the plant and up here on the trees. I just want to flip it over so you guys can tell that it did not bleed through. On this paper, I mean it's it's really nice paper in this book. <laughs> so you can put a lot of water on it, uh, ink, tents, uh, distress inks, watercolor obviously and pencils of your choice, along with some uh, fine liners and say water base pencils also. But that is uh, our little video today. I will be probably be using these watercolors in another book also a little later in another video. I just wanted to give you a touch base on how these work, how they look. I think these are just gorgeous. I love the uh, brightness, how much pigment are in these watercolors. Also watering them down, you can get a nice, very soft shade. The problem that I had was um, the indigo doesn't really look too terribly blue. I didn't really kind of expect it to. It looks more gray to me, so a gray blue would is a nice color also. The um, 
Yellow's turned out really nice though. And I absolutely love a few of these colors are really, really, really nice. <laughs> so there you are. This is what they uh, look like. Thank you guys for watching. And I will leave a link down below to the product. There'll be a code that you can get 10% off if you purchase these. You can use that code for anybody's link. I am not an affiliate, but... Uh, I have the uh, codes if you need them to get a 10% off discount if you like them as much as I do. I will only be using them in color books. I do not do watercoloring that other people do. So for my purpose, I like these a lot. So I will talk to you guys later in another video. I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye now.